Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another array related or matrix related problem in MATLAB, okay? So this is problem 44656 from MATLAB Cody and the question is draw a n, okay? We have to plot n, okay? So see the problem statement given n as input generate a n by n matrix capital N using zeros and ones. So if n is equal to 5, see our answer should be there is first column is completely one then diagonally it is coming as one then the last uh, column also one okay so what what is the algorithm to solve this kind of problem see very simple uh, if uh, i will iterate uh, two loops basically one is uh, outer for loop uh, for rows and another one is inner for loop for columns and i will check whether if it is first column or it is last column or that particular element is falling on the diagonal main diagonal if it satisfies then in that case i will put that matrix element as one otherwise zero and uh, for the first column the rule is obviously very simple j equal to one if j variable is taking care of the columns okay and uh, if uh, j equal to l that will take care of uh, the last column and for the diagonal for this diagonal as you know for main diagonal what is the rule i equal to j that is if the row index equal to column index that will indicate that particular element is situated on the main diagonal like suppose this consider this one this is basically i equal to 1 j equal to 1 this one this one corresponding to i equal to 2 j equal to 2 this corresponding to i equal to 3 j equal to 3 and so on okay so what we can do see our function is given and for function the end is also given so how we can write the code so for i equal to so first we have to create one matrix so ands one empty variable let us define and equal to one empty matrix and then for i equal to one colon x for j equal to one colon x then one if condition if j equal to equal to one that is if it is first column or j equal to equal to last column that is x or our i equal to equal to j in that case ends of i comma j equal to one else ends of i comma j equal to zero okay in this if in this internal form in this external form that's all let us check so let us press the submit button and let us check whether our code is working or not so see here some test cases also given so you, if you want you can check in matlab by implementing the same okay yeah see this is green tick that means our code has uh, compiled and run and passed all the test cases okay so i hope you have understood this try to understand the algorithm because if you understand the algorithm you can implement same problem in java or c or c plus plus or python or whatever your favorable language is and these kind of basic problems are very important to uh, strong your basics okay so practice this kind of simple simple problems and from this you just keep uh, building your concepts stronger and stronger and then you go to some competitive programming okay i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video i'll post the same code in the description of my this video if you want you can check there thank you